Hey everyone, this is Dylan, and today I'm going to be doing a movie review. Well, actually, it's kind of not a movie review, it's a mini series review. So, this is Stephen King's Tommy Knockers. I believe this came out in 1991 or sometime in the early 90s, not 100% sure. And this was a TV miniseries. I think it aired, well, obviously, it aired over two nights on ABC. Now, this miniseries takes place in, I th I don't know, it's unclear from what I saw, it was either Haven or Haven Falls, Maine. And um, I only say that because like the post office in the show had Haven Falls on it, but every time people mentioned it, they mentioned Haven, so not 100% sure, like even the back of it mentions Haven, so I'm not 100% sure what the actual name of the town is called. It follows Mark Helgenberger, who plays Bobby, and Jimmy Smith, who plays Gardner. I mean, those are kind of the main characters, but it, it, it follows a lot of people in this town, but those are the main ones I'm going to talk about during this review. So, Mark Helgenberger is a... I don't know if she's a writer per se, but she is at in this town and she's taking her dog for a walk into these Indian woods, which people, there's like a root, um, there's like a legend that these woods, uh, weird things happen in, to them. So she's like playing catch with her dog and stuff and sh her dog starts barking when she throws the ball and so she's like, what's going on? So. She walks over and the ball lands by this like mysterious metal piece that's sticking up out of the ground. So she like touches it and it like burns her, but she decides to leave and then she comes back the next day with a shovel and starts digging. And she starts digging and realizes that there's a whole bunch of like this metal piece extends very far into the ground and then she kind of starts getting obsessed with this and you can see other people in the town are starting to be affected by it as well and it is gets to the point where the entire town is being affected by this weird thing and they all start excavating it and it's not very clear throughout the show what it is until the very end. I mean, you have some ideas, but you're not 100% sure. Um, it just emits this green light. And so that's probably, I think that's where I'm going to stop this uh, thing so I don't spoil anything for anyone who wants to watch it. And I mean, hopefully we'll get a, this is my VHS copy, but I know it's on DVD. Hopefully we'll get a Blu-ray release of it because I, I don't necessarily know why they, why they haven't released a Blu-ray of this. But I, I enjoyed this movie. I really liked it. Um, I'm pretty sure when it came out, it was pretty polarizing. Like people either liked it or didn't like it. I, I thought it was pretty, pretty well done. Um, one of the biggest things that I liked about it and, is that it's super relevant to today. Um, you don't, like I wasn't 100% sure about it when I watched it, but I was, after I finished it, I was like, you know what, that's kind of like an allegory to drug use and stuff, and that's like a pretty big hot button issue in the United States today and I I definitely would liken this to drug use. I actually looked it up because I was curious to see like what the inspiration behind it was and apparently Stephen King had wrote this novel at a time when he was heavily under the influence of addiction and that made sense because there are a lot of undertones of drug use and being kind of uh, getting obsessed with something and they their bodies, the people's bodies in the show 
really start to decline and things are starting to happen. They're losing teeth and they have like these giant bags under their eyes and all of that. Uh, I did think that the ending was kind of weird. Um, that's kind of where, like it was all right. The, there, there's things that I didn't think the effects of them were all that great, but I don't know. I did, I did enjoy this movie though, so I would definitely recommend that you guys watch this if you can get a hold of it. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully you will check out this movie if you haven't already. If you have, let me know what you think about it. If you like it, if you don't like it, or anything like that. So if you're not already subscribed and you'd like to be, please hit that subscribe button down below. And if you liked this video, please give it a like. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Bye.